We watched the footage, the horrifying footage of those Hamas terrorists with the GoPro cameras strapped to their heads and their chest. When we talked to the Israeli officials, we mentioned 9-11. And they said, yes, it's similar, but I want you to understand why it's different. You were able to wake up on September 12th and tell your kids that the perpetrator was oceans away. We woke up on October 8th, and the people who want to eradicate this entire population are just miles down the road. I want you to think of what we're asking for parents in Israel who are tucking their children in at night. These disgusting, barbaric terrorists, they're not going after soldiers. They're coming after babies and beheading them. We watch them rape women. We watch them pull Holocaust survivors from their wheelchair. We watch them burn parents alive in front of their children. This is what we are up against. You cannot, in good conscience, ask parents to tuck their kids at night without believing that Israel can move forward and eradicate Hamas. There are still four battalions in Rafah. So understand what that means for the innocent people of Israel. We must do more. Never again is now. And I urge the President of the United States to not be the very first president to not stand with Israel. They are our greatest ally and they deserve us to stand shoulder to shoulder with them as they fight the evil that is Hamas.